Tombstone, Arizona, a well of history, surrounded by a brooding desert, a land of mystery, seemingly lifeless yet surprisingly alive with the hordes of little creatures who managed to survive the awesome heat of the day and the chill. On a trail drive from Texas down by the Rio Grande, we pushed across the Midas to a strange and bitter land that where before the Longhorns streamed the long grass range once was there. Now we herded them in silence with a few Country songs don't have to be about honky-tonks and bars, of broken hearts and long-lost loves and fast lives and fast cars. They can be about the country. That's what country is. You ask how come I call my old mule Ruth, when in fact the solemn truth is he's a jack and not no Jenny, that's for sure. Well, there's no call for you to know, but since you ask, I'll tell you. So just settle back and heed to what I say. It started in 1861. A baby child is made from the earth. Like the book says, we're all made of clay. And his soil lies foul from the time of his birth, pure and sweet as a new light of day. The scout looked down and saw ravines so vast and wide and deep. His breath came hard, his eyes grew cold. He knew there would be no sleep for him or for the men who had their women and children near. He knew that there could be no slackening. He knew there could be no... Oh, I've ridden a horse or two across the movie screen. I'm not the typical cowboy. I'm not lanky, nor am I lean. I rode horses on Bonanza, Chisholm, and Cattle King. And once in a while, to be like Roy, I'd just rear back and sing. But the horse that I remember most was back in World War II. I don't really like... We hear a lot about war of hurricanes that hit our shore. We hear a lot about hard times and a good deal more about the crimes that make the front pages of our news. But all that does is sing the blues about America. Now what are the good things? An ode to my dog. He was fearsome. He was playful. He was hard-nosed. He was kind. When he'd settle down beside me, he'd be gentle on my mind. He had dignity and wisdom. He walked with studied grace. He learned the key to the hearts of children, for the child in him has never died. No matter how hard the road he traveled, his peers would say, well, Monty tried. He traveled the world with his ropes and horses, meeting kings and queens and presidents, too. The Tournament of Roses never really got started until Monty Montana passed by.